the Daytona International World's Fastest Motor Speedway. To the class of 500, featuring America's fastest drivers in stock cars, competing before thousands of racing fans for the richest prizes. In but in all the history of the famous Daytona Raceway, the most incredible event was run before empty grandstands. There were only a handful of cars, and yet they were destined to rewrite the pages of history. It was called the Comet Durability Run, a triumph at Daytona. Behind it, a red, white, and blue idea. Specially equip and prepare a team of American racing cars for high-speed driving. Start them around the world's fastest track at record-breaking speed. Pause only for pit stops and see how far they could run. A public torture test that would help to build better, safer cars for tomorrow. And an openly staged all-out assault on the world's speed and distance records which now rest abroad. To be official, any speed or endurance run must be sanctioned by proper authorities. The top organization for international speed records is the Federation Internationale de l'Automobile, FIA, and its American agent, the Automobile Competition Committee for the United States, ACUS. The National Association for Stock Car Racing, NASCAR, would supervise the United States record attempt. The cars were powered by the optional new Comet Cyclone High Performance 289 cubic inch V8 engine. They also were equipped with optionally available heavy duty transmissions, drive shafts and axles, and with variable rate auto-like shock absorbers. And their suspensions were specially stiffened to cope with the extraordinarily steep banks of the Daytona track. Racing tires and roll bars were also installed according to NASCAR safety regulations. When the cars had been checked and tuned by expert mechanics, they were turned over to NASCAR and FIA officials to be sure all safety precautions were observed and all parts were conformed to product certification filed with the sanctioning bodies. And then it was H hour at Daytona. On the morning of September 21st, time for one last official briefing session for the crews. The NASCAR officials who would not leave the track until the last car called it quits. And the Longines timers, veterans of the world's top sports events, who would be responsible for exact timing of each car for every lap. And then final instructions for the drivers who would go night and day as long as the cars would run. And the mechanics who would gas and service the cars around the clock. Now the traditional slap on the roof. A good luck. And the cars roll off into formation. A green flag, a flying start, and an endless series of left turns. The drivers stretch out, and the cars thunder by, lap after lap. The opening pace, a dizzy 112 miles an hour. White, four two two five nine blue four four yellow four four two two nine. And from the mobile timing unit begins the special code and sounds of an important international trial. White yellow. From the first lap, each car records its lap speed as it passes through the electric eye. Forty-four times each hour, the automatic tape registers each car's speed. Spotters identify the cars allowed as they complete each lap. Batteries of timing devices check speed to the one hundred thousandth of a second. This official timing procedure continues minute by minute, 24 hours a day for the duration of the run. Radio contact between driver and engineer provide a valuable record of the car's performance as it builds up tremendous stress and strain during the run.
by pre-plan on the end of the second hour and every two hours thereafter, the pit crew is alerted and the cars peel off one at a time for a pit stop. Refueling, routine maintenance, any necessary repairs, and a change of drivers via the window because doors are bolted shut for NASCAR safety regulations. Other rules prescribe that all maintenance or repairs be carried out in the pit area with standard tools, and that all spare parts must be carried in the cars themselves. Any major repair to a car will make it ineligible at that point for world records. NASCAR officials are on hand at every pit stop to see that the rigid regulations are observed. The crews work fast because pit time is included in running time, but maintenance procedures are those used in the Comet owner's manual. Six pit stops later, and the run is 12 hours old, and daylight fades into a purple Florida sunset. Night. And with the taillights ahead and the guardrail lights as a guide, the cars roll on. And against the sky, a giant Daytona signboard paces the cars to the first long night. Pit stop, the change of drivers, official checkup, and gradually the routine is set. The drivers and cars charge on through the darkness. Dawn, and the lead cars run 2,200 miles at an average speed of over 106 miles per hour, including time for refueling. A bright new morning that seems to slip by. In a slow overcast second afternoon. Mile after mile, lap after lap, into the second twilight. The signboard totals the average speed for the first 40 hours. remembered only as the first of the rain-swept night. Dawn, a new day. Another. And another. And it's September 26th, the fifth day, with 12,600 miles under the belt. Timing vigil continues as lap after lap is compiled in the official log books. Pit stops. Sunsets. Crazy patterns of guardrail lights. New dawn. Brief stops. Time begins to run together now. And suddenly it's the 11th day with a team logging over 28,000 miles, more than once around the Earth. And still on and on, they streak through day and night. And somehow, it's the 16th day, and the cars have passed 39,000 grueling miles. And hour by hour now, new world speed and distance records are being tabulated for final FIA approval. A few hours later, the cars break the 40,000 mile mark. With it, subject to final FIA approval, 19 high-speed endurance records formerly held by foreign cars come to America. Four nights later, October 10th, on the 20th day, 50,000 miles flashes on the record board. 
and Hurricane Flora flashes into the news. And still the comets race on into the teeth of the gale winds an hour after hour of tropical downpour. And now the strain of nearly 500 hours of run is beginning to tell. But out of the buildup of fatigue, a kind of toughness and pride begins to grow. As the days pass and the cars incredibly race on, they know that they are part of something to talk about, to brag about for the rest of their lives. And on they drive, day and night, and the run is 26 days old. With over 67,000 miles at an average speed of over 107 miles per hour. No American car has ever attempted an endurance run of over 50,000 miles before. Hours later, the Comet team blasts the 70,000 mark at over 40 miles an hour faster than the previous world record holder. And on they race. valve spring and engine repairs close the official record books at this point for the fourth car. But after repairs, it too continues the run. And now it's 82,000 miles October 22nd. 90,000 miles on the 26th. 98,000 miles on the 29th. And it's October 30th, the 40th day dawning bright with a good omen. And there's a special cocky bloom on every face. Hours away is an unbelievable goal. Round the track. Again. Again. And the engines roar full throat. Minutes away now. Finally, one more lap. And the lead car clicks past the 99,999 mile mark. And flashes toward and under the flag stand where it all began, a fantastic continuous journey more than 40 days ago over 960 hours ago. Space through the day, the three remaining cars take the checkered flag, thus ending what must be counted as one of the most astounding performances in automobile history. Why 100,000 miles? Well, they had to stop somewhere. Could the cars have continued much further? The drivers and mechanics say yes. How far? No one guesses. What happens now? The cars go back to Detroit for engineering analysis, which will guide the design of new and even better, safer family cars for tomorrow. Final scoreboard. All four participating comets finished the 100,000-mile run at an average speed of over 108 miles per hour. Three of them will establish, pending FIA and NASCAR approval, over 100 world speed and distance records. The Comet Durability Run, an American world triumph at Daytona.